So we um, always start with moving on some, some, some given curve. So x is a smooth a projective curve. Later, you make some more assumptions on K on the P that we work with, but right now it can, it can be uh, arbitrary in field. Um, so um, we have a uh, uh, middle F, uh, the field of rational function of X. X has a um, topological space, have a, a generic point, and other ground on close points. So we also denote that with this X in between the bar and uh, the um, uh, set of close points. X. So for every um, for every X in uh, small X in uh, every close point of x, um, because the curve, it defines some valuations on the, on the fields of uh, personal functions. They have evaluation of x. Uh, uh, invertible rational function, it is uh, z. It, it measures the uh, uh, I don't think it would be to do quite so valuation X is a homomorphism on the book of uh, invertible uh, invertible rational function into Z. And then you can uh, use this valuation to define a, a topology and then to do completion of X. The completion. F with respect to, uh, to this valuation. O of X is the um, is, um, uh, is valuation of X. So, um, because we are working with most projective curve, uh, after valuation, the, uh, this, this is very simple. Right? This is just a little, a little form of series in one variable. So, uh, o of X is going to be uh, as a model to play of X. Some, uh, uh, some, uh, 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 KX is a, a residue field of X. And, and, and pi is going to be some uh, uniformizing parameters. So, uh, so that's it. This, this is basically the, uh, all the data. We need to describe a uh, vector band of the uh, one side the uh, the things of rational function and on the other completion. So, so the completion cannot see the curve. The completion only sees a very very small form of this of the curve. And really, they are all the same. Whatever the curve you choose always a very form of series. So what is really contained that uh, interesting structure that help you the so the uh, and it is somehow to put the thing together, uh, we have the uh, uh, ruin of A, the ruin of and ends to you know, introduced by the, the term itself and the name of my way, but the exist before the dictionary. With the ruin of all collection of uh, AX, we have one. 
This is the ring index, and it contains a sub ring that is by uh, the table index. It's now put the the whole product on all index. All right. So, um, so this is a general situation of uh, when we work with the curve or any fixed. But um, what do we move to two basic phase? One is, is phase as a big flow field, or the other phase phase finite fields. So when phase finite fields, well, I mean, you can always, this ring as a formal series, as completion, is it, a cubic topology. And when phase is finite field, then O of X, because now uh, it's compact. So as a uh, projective limit of finite, finite limit, it, it's compact. Uh, and F of X is locally compact. Uh, and A, and O of A is compact. Because the eating product of compact weight, by people not say that this is compact. Uh, but this thing is going to be locally compact. That's why we need this in all these conditions. You need to impose that AX is in in OS for all most of X. So that this A is in the is by union of the compact. So, um, so all this look very big, right? It's a straight pull up above the all point. But because of this system compactness, local compactness properties, it's still small in some analytic sense. That means when it's so comp compact and local compact, it's very much like real numbers. Real numbers is the this example of local compact. So the new integrations. So this uh, implies that you can do <coughs> okay. And uh, um, so OA is um, OA is a, a compact ring inside this local compact ring, but you observe that F itself also is containing A. When it, so we just any function you can push A at every place. Every place. Uh, so it it's going to be it the goal for almost an X. It may have some codes, but it's still an index. And the basic fact here is with the here is that uh, Basic fact in you know, this other theory that uh, F in A is discrete co compact. When, the, when you rest, A has topology, right? When you rest it to F, it's without discrete topology. And more of the portion is compact. And this, this very simple fact actually um, 
is an, another way to state many um, you know, basic theorems as a metrometer curve. So, you know, the, uh, we have uh, in A, we have two subgrades. We have F with the um, district and co compact. On the other side, we have some O of A, which is open and compact. So, this is open and compact. And this one is uh, discrete. So this is a very finite field. Discrete. So this is immediately implied that the, uh, uh, if we intersect F and OA, or maybe translation of OA by something, you know, you can multiply by any index, so there's A star. If you multiply the equal of A, of A in an invertible, uh, find some element A in A star, which is finite. So I'm intersecting some compact set with some discrete set, which can be finite. And also, you have that the, the, the portion of A is um, by F, the sum of this. And those, in all finite fields, are the vector space of the K. And, and this is the, the first you know, A, when you have. Uh, When we have events, uh, this will write some light bundles. And if the first intersection, F cap is uh, OA, A, probably um, A minus 1, and we depend how we define A, A is A0 of X L A. The second is this uh, H, this portion. is H1 of X. So this property of compact, locally compact, actually corresponds to the very basic fact of the algebra geometry that we are finite vectors. Thank you. So the algebra geometry, this, this work already fits. But here, you can say it's compact, that's only finite. There is a way to, 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 to talk about compact and uh, for any fix. Linearly uh, compact, but not going to that. It, uh, it's just some, you know, it's only going to make this to work. Not, it's very, very not But I just want to say that uh, these uh, very basic structures, which may really have a setting that has been adopted. Okay. <coughs> so this is how to do it. <coughs> okay, so now uh, what we are going to try to understand is the uh, um, Vector bundle <coughs> about n over x. So this is vector bundle V. V is vector bundle x. Where V is now is open. Here this is s maybe. OX modules, locally free. OX modules, about that. So that is a vector bundle. So in algebra, it's an OX module locally free. And, um, And our basic um, 
with the very description is a description of this of the type of so first we try to understand the, the set of isomorphism classes of vector bundle. But obviously um, uh, what is more meaningful is the, the category of Bernays category of um, So because x is fixed, I never put x in the notation because x is in order to move the plot, the plot is fixed one for all. So the object of this category is the uh, vector bundle of n and morphism are the morphism. This category are just isomorphisms of vector bundles. And uh, so this is called the root point. This is a root point. The root point is um, by definition of category of all morphism and isomorphisms. And so we have two things uh, of interest. First is group point vector bundles. And there are, I think, somehow more elementary means that. Uh, This bracket Bernays now the set, the set of isomorphism class. And then another, uh, the last. Um, And, also, and this is the play of finite things. We basically count how many vector bundles we have. And the counting is, because now it's, it's not counting in this set. The counting in this set, you, you can count it, but it's actually more difficult. What is easier to count is to count in the mass of the group. So when you have uh, uh, so when you have a um, And then I identify the, the, the mass of A, uh, it's like cardinality of A, is now the sum over the set, the set of isomorphism of classes. And for every A in A, I want to take a, I put a weight, which is the inverse of the cardinality of homomorphism. So this only make I mean this makes sense, I mean this opens makes sense only when this set is finite. And also for every A this group is finite. Uh, so in the case of uh, in the case of finite things, uh, this thing is finite. Homomorphism for the come more or less from this kind of compactity uh, to tell this group is only finite group. It can actually it can be very large with this finite group. So this set is um, infinite. Uh, so a theory this uh, this is this actually infinite. But for example when you take a better bundle of a given degree, then you have uh, uh, so if you take the band N D which is uh, uh, from N and degree D, uh, then this, this is infinite sum of its conversion. So if A is when N D, this is going to be uh, uh, this uh, the mass of A is a conversion series. And uh, the game is now trying to uh, to write a formula for this number in terms of integrals, so how to write this press. This number as an integral over over the index. So 
So, but first we, we try to destroy the command of uh, uh, come back to how to destroy the human vector bundle internal address. So let V, so this is a, so if I have a vector bundle V over X, a vector bundle of one M. How can I, um, uh, you know, <coughs> describe it? So first of all, I look at the verifier. So, so let V, so V of S is a um, verifier. Is an F vector space. So there's not so many vector space measuring air, there's only one of the morphisms. But the point is that you choose one, you have to do some counting, to choose. So when you choose, the first one you have to choose. You choose an isomorphism, let's say uh, C over F. F again is always uh, you know the, the theta type of function. If it F to the N and V over F. This is vector space of the version N. So something that doesn't exist, but there's just many of them. Here just pick one. This the same I choose the base of this vector space. So this is a kind of a very vector of vector pattern. And now for every one, a closed one, uh, I will know, I should have know that x, x uh, sub, um, sub x is a form of this respect of, of all x. So all x is not, this is not standard notation, all x is not a local, local library. Right, so the complete link. So forget anything about the curve. So this is a form of this. And uh, I have V of X is now V tensor of O X uh, with O small X. So in other words, it will be restricted to the to the form of this. And now we have a local ring. We don't need to complete, but you know, here it's better to complete. Uh, we have a local ring, and uh, uh, locally free, a brown end, uh, modules, it is effectively free. And so it is free. For X module, a brown end. And now we choose. There's a morphism now CX is uh, another morphism in O X to the A with uh, with O X with V of X. So we you know we have we redefine a lot of this full point, so we're going to write to write uh, by the dot, the dot is you have to book any term that I have choose a uh, base one by uh, average indications. So this is going to be uh, the group point of B uh, and uh, added on this identification. So we have C and F and C X for on those one. So once I have true the knowledge identification, this is no longer a group point, it is a set. The equivalent to a set. So how, how can uh, now I can describe the set uh, uh, as met 
that's the matrix. So the, this is the point of, so meeting the genetic point, theta, is take f, and this form of this, there's no overlap, right? The two uh, as a of them on, on different type of chart, type analytic chart, and now we look at the, the way the overlap is. So um, eta, um, when you look at the overlap, so you the final product eta is x x is 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 the function is. When you consider the form of this, when you get the function of this, which is a straight f x. Things of draw on for a series. This is so Fx is isomorphic to, um, to the residue field of uh, this thing. Then you choose some, some, some parameters. So now over this, we have uh, two. Um, so we have uh, Vx is we restrict to this. Um, function this we have two isomorphism, two really two uh, trivialization. We have uh, first we have the D uh, we have uh, uh, F X and have two unification. So one given by the generic uh, trivialization, the other given by uh, the local trivialization. And when they have two trivialization they differ by a little group. Right? Here is just a ve some vectors. It's a vector space. Right? Vector, vector for fx. And they'll give two different bases. And then a metric that map one way to the other. So the whole point is not to write in two cents. So when you look at z of x, you go like this and go back. So when you go back, and then you have c of f minus 1 c of x. And now it's a little bit of metric, you go into metrics. You get an effect. And it's easy to see that this um, visualization of the extent to some kind of, it's not just the requirement, but some kind of open subset. So on that open subset, the, this thing is um, the GX. is going to be in GNN of all x or all more of x. So as a result, we have a map to have a functor that has uh, equivalence. We have a map of GNN of So now, uh, by checking uh, collection of the GX. So here I A, by definition, it's just uh, the choice of GX and GX and X belong to the OS of the All right, so, uh, and now this is the equivalence. Right? This is the equivalence, if you decide a good point, this is the set. So okay. So this is also a very discrete group, right? There's no homophysics. Okay, so now we have this try, this is kind of more easier because we can rigidify anything. And so the the, the data can be just re, you know just recorded as collection of matrices. But now of course you want to what you're interested in this uh, original group point as it was at. Without, without the choice. But now on this side, it's very really easy to, to describe how you can forget how you can forget this unification. You just have to mod out by, for example, if you were to forget this, you have to mod out the left by general. So this, this is different. So 
different choice, so two choices of this local civilization differ by an element in general of both. So two choices of the civilization differ by an element in general So we have this. So for example, we have the, the, the set. So now, just have one point is, if this is a set, and this is just a set of objects of this group, this uh, ZNMF times ZNFOA acting on this. But as we're going to group for it, then they need to define this quotient and group for it proper way. So that means all these things are going to have some type of If you have, uh, now this M is a set, and Z is uh, an abstract group. And then you can define this M mod G. So when you write this, I, 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 uh, I say this is a group point. I don't have, this is a group point uh, whose object are uh, elements of M. And if I have uh, two point M O M M M and right, then the map, right? If I want the map from one element to another, but the map here is an element G, G in G, such that G and is M right? So you can just recall that, you know, you just uh, an action of G on M in terms of group point. Object uh, as the element of the set and uh, um, Morphisms are given by an action of G in this set. So as a result, here, the, um, when you look at the, the notation of the M on G, which is the same as the morphism classes, is now it's just the uh, in the, in the set of orbit. But this group point is 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 richer than the uh, than this set of orbit because every time we have n in n, so as an object of this category, it has a set of automorphisms. Right? So automorphisms of n as an object of the portion category is nothing but the, the group a stabilizer group. This is the group of G in G such that G of N is N. So the group point here is roughly to remember the set of orbit and the set of and the group of stabilizing. Uh, it's not completely precise, roughly like this. So what we have to uh, this example of um, it's very instructive if you want to count. So you have a, a finite set M out of one by some finite group G. You can also write what is the number of orbit. Impossible to write just from M and G. But it's very uh, easy to describe this the, the mass of the group. So if M is finite, M is finite set, and G is finite group. Then the, uh, the mass of the group point M of G is just uh, the cardinal of M divided by the cardinal of G. You can just sum, the, it's a very basic exercise in uh, algebra if you sum over the set of it and weight it by 1 over the sum of the morphism. Then you get this. So the, this is the time, you know, that thing that we uh, just had out all the time. They, you know, this, the two objects are sometimes equally interesting. They have a set of orbit, which is elementary, because it's the set. But they sometimes have more fancy version in the group point also. Uh, it's more fancy, but the counting 
it's easier. The third thing is that this will be how it's updated M for G. If it's a real triple the the bus book will be still M or G. And the, the, the set of objects is actually much is simpler, but it's very difficult to cut. So this is something we can have to the all the time for the um, our moonlight space, etc. This is a very, very difficult. So, so this is this equivalent, this is looked at as a good point of GNA divided by the this action. Okay. So for for instance, uh, um, so if uh, if K is finite, then it, uh, so we have to put N B, which is isomorphic with uh, uh, G L N of F, G L N of A. I put one D here. I mean, uh, I add N to the D. It should be, it, it can be easy to define what it means. And uh, what we say is that uh, you can, it's very useful to write uh, what is the number of isomorphic classes. It's infinite. There's infinite many, uh, there's infinite many uh, isomorphic classes in the bundle. But uh, the mass is finite. It's now it's just the, um, the volume of this portion. So this is the uh, locally compact. Locally compact. Uh, if you remove these local compact group, and you modernize some kind of this picture. So we think we have to choose a measure. What is the measure? So obviously we have to choose a measure, so this is, is volume one. So this is local compact group. And uh, by the very term we take this uh uh the unit invalid measure of any local compact group. So DG is Invalid measure, high measure, on GNN of A. Um, so this exists, uh, but we need to scale. So we need to choose, uh, to choose the way to normalize, as normalization is. Uh, so that the volume of GNN of O is the compact group. When you put this notation in, this identity is, is, is basically topological. You have to choose proof. But the only thing to prove that proof is finite. I'm not going to prove it, but it, it is true. But in general, for some simple group, it is very really finite. So that, that's it. So this is the. Um, uh, so this is the, the content, I mean, that's the content, the part of the, the idea of the convention, the very counting of vector bundle. This is this. Is this. So we describe vector bundle in terms of events, and the group with vector bundle and gives some kind of portions. And eventually, if it over finite field, you can make some count with that. The, the weight of the number, the, the mass of the group of vector bundle can be written as integral. Of some uh, somehow the, some kind of local compact group mod out as a discrete group. So this is a uh, kind of different to, to see when not even into it, but this is very much uh, similar to GLN of R. Divided by GLN of C. Okay. Or maybe in SN2 of R, uh, SN2 of Z. And this you have to look at the composite group as a two of R, which is the, the, the SO two of R. 
and this is the, this is the uh, uh, SL2 of R mod by this is a uh, uh, half plane, point plane half plane, and this is a pair of uh, the W plus So this uh, so this number is the same as the pair of volume of one element domain of the uh, option of SL2 of Z on the point plane half plane. What is the uh, chance that you create D? What is the chance that you create D? So, the degree. Yeah. And you just push it by the same. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, so, the degree, you know, when you get one, is. Um, the, de the degree is always zero. The degree of A star A B one. So A B A A is A X. Then you can you can do the uh, the degree of A to the sum of the valuation of A X. Which is a finite sum because of the need X. And uh, when X star inside this, then this will be zero. Because it has as many points as zero. And 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 if we need to the uh, when the determinant is strong, we have to have the D. D, D, D. And of course in GNN F is in determinant you get to S star and then it is zero. So the action of GNN F itself is this second D. Another check of the valuation that it is really important. Oh, also in rotation. Yeah. Okay. okay, so now, uh, so this is kind of the story actually where this is this uh, paper of Bay, uh, which is called uh, gener gener Generalization of the Fusion very difficult to read, and I could never find what exactly the place where he actually write this. But we only refer to this type of value at this uh, at the, at the beginning of this idea. So now um, we um, in the we made part of this lecture. What I try to do is to do this, but for uh, G bundles instead of GNN. So, so for that, I just have to define what is in G bundle. With the bundle of the type, I don't know what is the bundle. The G bundle can meet uh, some definitions. Uh, this is one point. And the second point that uh, uh, why we need to develop homology is this. So, in this so for the bundles, uh, when you ask to do the genetic finals, it's a vector bundle, it's just a vector space dimension A, and they are all isomorphic. So there's only one vector space up to isomorphism. So this is no longer true if you do some principal bundle. So the set of the possibilities here in the is many different kinds of some gala homology group. And that might complete this uh this effect to be solved. Okay, so I spent a couple of the maybe uh, 15, 20 minutes to uh, discuss bundle of uh, G bundles and the last one. So now I, uh, I did some kind of more hot points of geometry. But um, some terms are not going to define, uh, so we have to, you know, to try to, because if I define, it doesn't have to uh, So now we have some scheme, some, some, some scheme in the space and the geometries, and the basic standard point is, is some G over S in the smooth group scheme.
I'm not going to be talking about the uh, books to what is used less, but if the way you can think about it, if one has an S, you have uh, the five of the book, as you put it in GS, like GLA, like uh, subtracting book, et cetera. And uh, so this is the family of book, and as you put it, it is from uh, some smooth speed. And the smooth here is, you see, the, the, the thing that it, if you don't have smooth net, somehow it will turn out into two. Right? So this is the, the this is the, what it needs to make uh, so these technical conditions. To make them two. So it is to be the clear family of book in algebraic geometries. Type of it. So uh, you don't need to go much with this. So now with this, what is kind of accept what is most routine when you find what is the uh, G bundle. And this has many names, so just choose the subject most uh, short name, but it also known as G topsels. G in this is more technical name than the geometries. And different geometry they call G principle now. So I just you know I just oh, I just pick a G bundle to make it short. So a G bundle is what? A G bundle is the uh, uh, is um, uh, a scheme over S or so map of X to S. Acted on by G. What it means is, is fiber one, not fiber wide. So, um, so this means that um, you have a map from G X into X. So this is fiber for over S. Satisfying uh, uh, axiom of an action. So, what do you require actually of a book or a set? Then you require the same identities. So, I mean, roughly speaking, what you want here is just for every point S in S, you have a set of a book, J, G, S in the book. Up the door, the set of the space of five dimensions. And this this action had to vary in a much way to the, to the family, but that means that it had to be met. So this is uh, uh, some some G space, this is called G space. Uh, and the G bundle in the G space where uh, basically for ABS, this action is simply coming. But the definitely you have more a more uh kind of knowledge to understand, but I can I can explain such that there exists S prime to S uh, a subject subjective metamorphisms. Such that if you base change this thing to S prime, so this is base change to S prime. So this is after on by the base change of G to S prime. And this is isomorphic to G times G S prime with the right action. It really depends on how, I mean, usually the formula is better when you do the right action. That's the right action. The right. So if you, know, if you take S prime with a point, 
ready for that, I will say that you know, um, the fibers is the uh, GS uh, the, the of simple transmission on, on, on the fiber of X and the S. But this is more like you go, this, this uh, subjective metamorphism replace the cover of the space by open subject in, 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 in different zones. Like the vector, uh, vector bundle in, uh, in uh, different geometry that you put again after resting to some open subset, it's a usual topology, it becomes uh, become a trivial vector bundle. Uh, but in algebraic the geometry, there's no equivalent of this small this as in uh, as in different geometries. But then this 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 was a time of result to see place properly. I don't go to the biology and leave it, but it, it just, you know, we can hear the great thing about this is some type of cargo, S by some small piece. Okay, so we can now do that. So this, um, uh, so, okay, so now um, I try to explain, so this is rather a strong definition. Uh, for you know, for uh, for those who haven't uh, not exposed to this kind of real as a geometry, but let's try to explain it in simple terms. So, firstly, this implies that x to s is smooth. Right? Why it is smooth? Because x you know, the um, because lo its smoothness is a low resolution. So if you have space S, smoothness you can check by some so this is the spray on the disk. It, it's some kind of nine You can kind of check at the uh, the map over the some 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 small um, some small level is smooth. Very small level it is the same as G. A small level is isomorphic to G. So it is smooth because G is smooth. But there is no collision. For X of S prime is isomorphic to G of S prime. And so X S prime is smooth. Over S prime. So this implies for X so this kind of um, it would be very clear uh, uh, implications and topology is very clear and the geometry is clear the algebraic geometry I mean, in some more some wide language to say that the smooth net properties is preserved by basically fact descent so this descent from S prime to S properties of my S part can be descend So this is the first point. If it's a toxin, it can be smooth. And the second point is that now if you have a for every S, for every geometric point, so geometric point is the spec of some uh, Algebra to close things. So this map from this to this. Uh, then we have uh, um, then of course GX, GS up simply transitively on on this. And moreover, because it we have some kind of algebraic varieties of uh, algebraic growth field. We have to have points. And it is kind of thing that we spend in South Korea. It's only have points, so it is just over K bar, this point. And this point gives you a map from G um, X to X to S. S mapping G to G X, which is another one. 
So uh, when you have a, a doxus or a Z bundles, it implies two properties. First of all, as a matter of steam, it has to be smooth. And fiber wise, it has to be crystal homogeneous space, actually. So the claim is it's equivalent. So uh, so one and two. So Z bundles is the same as one plus two. So hopefully one plus two is in fact more intuitive. So one is just about smoothness. It doesn't move the upset of it. Two is now it's just probably fiber one. That fiber wire G absolutely is kind of good after the set, similar to the video. Or otherwise they give a point X, so it's like the nice of the bunch of the variety. So the smooth net is really uh, the property that you can move the, the, the other condition together very easily. So how you can prove it? So this is if I typically proved and that uh, this kind of thing just moves all the time to start taking what you do. So how do you prove it? I try to prove it to So the this is already new. This is the we already know. Now try to do the opposite way. So so if I have two, so if S is some geometric point in S, and now if uh, if a geometric point I, I have a point in um, S S. So this is X, this is S, and this is one point S, and I have a point S. And smoothness is mean that in this. It's mean that you can you can they, you know in in, in different geometry, I mean you can lift this amount S into a this thing. This is smoothness is really mean that you can uh, for every point you can lift the whole uh, inside it. Very big section. So smooth net we will need it to do it. It's a distance. So in different geometries you want to be for local respect to the usual topology. And the word geometry is to be local respect to the time to be based on this type of small so, 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 so by definition there exists some kind of S, um, S small S, in S, some kind of theta narrow. S in S, so, so that there is a, there is a section. X tina from S A to, uh, to X so that when you take the, the, the point S, it will be the point S. So when there is these sections, then, uh, then, uh, then the, the ratio of X uh, may change to S S is as a market to But if it is a section to define that, so the net is the action, the G net into G of C. So what we have a section, one has a section that is whole thing is just G times section. So this so for A B one we have nine O and to the union, you can take your union on okay. this kind of This is made on the other. I mean, usually when S is kind of spectral, uh, 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 a cognitive ring, it's local, it is uh, compact, it is uh, uh, quasi compact. Then you can replace this by finite memory. Yes, I think it can be covered. 
So this we are uh, you see that the smoothness is is very really important to 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 say that uh, this kind of toxins it is basically the same as fire or white with the piece of the thing. So to go back to the what we need to have section. And the section the this is section is guaranteed by the uh, by the uh, smoothness. Okay, this is what I have to say on this now. Now we have uh, uh, This note, this note is correct because it gives you, um, you know, the arithmetic with the numbers that we know look at the table at in the spread of the field. Something to not at the uh, screen. And then this is the, uh, I um, will explain why this is the same thing as, uh, and this is this, uh, when, then H1 of S, G, the same thing as H1 plus gamma KFG. And this is the unit, first rule of gamma KFG. And so how can you how can go around so far? So now, let, let's try to understand this. So we can make some, this kind of abstract is a very, more about it, uh, the cycle and so on. So we have a map, uh, we have a, um, a map of X to this big gate, which is acted on by, by G. And now I'm going to forget all geometry, so I should look at the, uh, the set of X of K bar. The set of point on a little bit close to and acted on by G of K bar. It is up simply by this degree. So somehow when you move from uh, algebraic geometry number theory, the way you trick is to forget about the speed. Just look at the set and the dollar action. That's it. So we can get the And the action is defined okay. That means that the action is compatible. That means if you have sigma, I write action by this sigma of x, action on the y on g, the same as sigma x. So this is what he, 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 he captures if you do the Galois um, theory from this algebra geometry phase. We just look at the set of geometric points. It is the 
you can create a set, a typical option, you can group a typical option. So this group after this set has a very simple, a simple strategy. But very complicated this, you know, this, this, uh, this has to understand this compatibilities. So how to describe this? If you describe this, let's just fix a point. So let's choose some point. It's a pick up point. And you should apply sigma to x. So sigma is a minimum value. So sigma we're going to move x to another point. Except if unless x is defined okay, then 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 x is going to be a fixed point of value. Then we need to no know no fixed point. So we just give a little random point. And you have to measure how you know how far how far it moves. But now because this actually is simple gravity, and then this is it. Gamma sigma in G of K bar, such that x is x gamma sigma. So after on the left by by the element of value group, P is after the right by the of G, some element in G. So this is a common so this is uh, and now of course it has, has such special condition. So if you have sigma 1, sigma 2, then you put that on the loop, and you can do sigma 1, sigma 2, x. Then it's going to be sigma 1, sigma 2, x. This is sigma 1, x. And now gamma, sigma 2. And now we call it this formula. Yeah, this is the same as sigma 1 x, sigma 1 gamma 2, and this is x gamma sigma 1, sigma 1 gamma sigma 2. And this way we talk about the usual equation, if you have that, it implies it is the same as x uh, gamma sigma 1 sigma 2. This imply that gamma sigma 1 sigma 2 has to be gamma sigma 1, sigma 1 gamma sigma 2. So it's almost the multiplicative. It's just at this place, you have to apply sigma 1 on the gamma sigma 2. So this is a cosine equation. This exactly means that the left from gamma to gamma to the group to the group of k bar point, sigma net to gamma sigma is a one per cycle. The one per cycle is a map satisfy this condition. And if I said of course I can really have to try to, you know, to do some kind of simple mild thing, we have a gala action up on the space, which is a principal homogeneous space on the group. So when you move the Galois to the same as group as some element of the group. And I'm using the composition rule, which is why I was going to identify the cosine condition. And another condition that you need to, to uh, satisfy is that on the, the point X is not defined over K, but it has to be defined over some finite extension. And the, and the job is any point in five is a finite extension. So that means that uh, 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 yeah. there exists some gamma L, gamma, gamma K, and uh, some finite, uh, some, uh, some is, is this may be actually continuous. This is a list of set, and this is a compact group. Mm -hmm. And this is a cosecond that we have to factorize the factorized equation. 
So, um, so the, this what you have is uh, um, the definition of of one dots as you find give right to someone to say for one to choose a point. So we choose another point. So now if we have x prime another point in x then x x prime is here. And if from this is going to be derived easily, but if you this prime here write some gamma, some precise and gamma prime, this is gamma, and then gamma sigma and b, about this is going to be g minus one, gamma sigma, sigma g. So when you uh, move the base point, then the two side will move some four value. So as a result, uh, what I prove here by this very simple calculation is that this set of uh, this set of, of H1 of Sg, when S is spectral of, of a field, okay, is the same as one per cycle, one continuous per cycle divided by you know, two value. And this is exactly the definition of the dollar per one. So somehow, you know, um, when the first time you look at the dollar of homology, you can ask what, what, why do you take this proportion? Right? And why this probability? But somehow this language of bundles make it very natural. Every time you take a point, and you write the equation of what the hell it is, then you see to the what the second position. And you move one point to another, then the cosecond is is a is compound So we, we do have this uh, Okay, so this is the uh, what happened over the uh, base field of the spectrum of with, uh, the scheme is spectrum of the field. Then you can do this. Okay, so let's continue. Um, So I um, seen here something to uh, to do on, on the and the gala homology and the top and two bundles. So um, uh, so what um, this the notion of uh, G bundle is not um, usually uh, practiced by uh, people outside the electronics uh, because it really is, um, somehow it's not as family as Victor Bundle you know, or Victor Bundle with some form and so on. But um, um, so this is basic equivalent, so I, I try to explain how, how, um, how they go back and forth from um, the notion of forms rational forms of the world. It doesn't have a name, so I just have vague names of forms. So now let uh, uh, we, uh, I mean this kind of thing is very really, um, Common knowledge, but that is not written anywhere, so I cannot uh, find the exact assumption. Right? So I, I had to put sometimes my own assumption to make it work, but not with not optimal. So then, so over some S and schemes, and now let's see some type algebraic structure over S. The vector bundle. So more and more generally, I have a scheme, S and schemes. Plus additional structures. So, for example, vector bundles and then the option. 
add one to the multiplier of the condition structure. So then we get a z like this. And um, the form of x uh, will be some to be is another map of x prime to x, which is as a market at locally. Such that uh, over the uh, return cover, the return cover is a subjective return cover. S thing to S, and after base change, uh, then X, S prime is in base change of X to S prime, so they exist in isomorphism. S, S prime is S, 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 S prime, S prime, uh, uh, pretty compatible. These are additional structures. Well, it, it can be a fake what an additional structure means is that some kind of morphism, right? then this, this thing doesn't cause any problem. It can be anything. So this is a form. So this is something that looks like X locally. So over differential geometries are locally over some disk, some, some balls. The algebraic geometry is just replaced balls by some retard tables. So what to classify, how to classify a form? The question is how to classify. The same structures, this prime so with additional structures. In the same with the same same kind of addition. So the question is how to classify forms. So classify uh, you know, space or modules whatever, equivalent additional structures. So that locally, it is as a morphic to the given one. So this is very natural in any kind of geometry. And the point is this, is, this is very much the same as classified as space and some kind of dynamics. It's only some assumptions. So that um, uh, so the classified form is basically with, uh, the same as um, let 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 look at f of x. Then we got f for form at x is the the, the category of forms. By these definitions, this is the object are, are forms, and morphism, isomorphism of forms, and uh, as the equivalent, this is the equivalent to some. Some place in bundles or some G. But here we need some assumption because the, the assumption is this. So, um, uh, so we consider. So we need to have this G to start with. So we consider uh, the functor uh, that um, associated with the, uh, um, any scheme over S, so any T over S. Then I take automorphism. So because of this function. This group value associate any uh anything any uh S scheme is just the group, you know, this abstract group of automorphism of the T of X base chain to T plus additional structures. So the, we have automorphism of XT that respect the additional structures. So this structure is only five. Uh, but it just the assumption we uh, assumption is uh, assumed. 
that this stuff is there. is representable. So this is a strong assumption. Uh, this function is not only representable, it can be very big. Yeah. For example, if you take um, uh, A to be uh, R5 spent two dimension, the yeah. automorphism of a two dimension space is the criminal groups of that in all those groups, you know, understand. So this needs to be. This, I don't know what it has something to make, to make this happen. But they assume this. But when you have this, then this, this thing becomes, when you have this assumption, then this becomes uh, scopopological. <coughs> so this is the same construction as when you have a vector bundle, then uh, you look at the isomorphism from the vector bundle, from the tube of vector bundle to the vector of the from the tube of the vector bundle, and from the frame bundle, which is the principal bundle in general. So this kind of frame bundle. So, so if now we, uh, we look at the, uh, uh, then we have this counter from Fx, to band G. Which is just x prime, for every time we have x prime, some form of x, which is associated with it, a functor. Um, the uh, uh, the functor iso of x and x prime. So that a for a, a b over a b t. So when you, t is compared to structure, t over s. Then you look at the ISO. Now, this is a function, now to the set from XT. XT is very straight to XT, X prime T, plus additional structures. So when we have two, you know, now this thing is really acted on by G. Because when I have two isomorphisms, when you compose on the inverse of that, either you get a minimum of the automorphism. And so, uh, um, and so this is, uh, this, this function is a non technology So this is very abstract cons construction of how to go from forms to bundle over the automorphism group. The, 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 uh, the formalism is very easy. What is difficult is how to check the homophilia and move the, 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 the residual of the residual. It's not smooth, it's going to be a little bit So, for example, when you look at the, um, so the, the most basic thing, that is very much used in different geometries, when you have a vector, now an x over s is a vector bundle. A vector bundle of ground plane is a form. So, uh, so when x is just a tree board, uh, is uh, x is just O x to the n. So the tree board vector bundle of the n. And then x prime over x, s is locally isomorphic to this, and then x prime is just a vector bundle. It's locally free. Locally free, uh, OS modules. The ground N. And here is, is very obvious an automorphism. So. 
automorphism of, of this O X N and the object of the T is just X S times the good gen. This is very easy. So then when you do this I zone things, when you have the um, uh, so why does it have the I zone from X to S prime is going to be uh, for GN and M. So we, then we have equivalence between the, the group with the category of vector bundles with the category of GN and M. You can be treated at the same level. So for instance, if you. <coughs> So this is in, in different properties that we call this general in the frame model. And now this is uh, all of this very formal, but there is this one thing that is uh, uh, just look at the trace now, let's look at the trace at um, S is spec of a field. As, as a speculative field and a um, vector bundle is a vector space. Of dimension n from the tail. And this group weight is very simple, it's just one object. But the automorphism group is generated tail. And in this case, uh, this band of n over this spectrum of the field and one object is equivalent to this and automorphisms is is generated. But now by this correspondence what you get here is the is the group with a group with a GLN a GLN crystal binary. But remember, we have identified this band gen. If you look at this, is not a good point. And the set of isomorphism classes a band gen is a gala homology H1 of K. It can be defined abstractly as um, the set of one cycle divided by the set of one boundary. But this equivalence tells us something that is, well, it's not completely obvious that is, this is why. Because on the other side, they are only one isomorphism class. With the bundle, they are only one isomorphism. So the H1 of the GNN is all the three. And this is the, what we call it in Gala Homo Zimbabwe, 93. And if you want to be prove out where you can go at post cycle and try to, to work on the post cycle to make it go out to the tree of post cycle. When you go through this equivalence between GLM bundles and vector bundles, then it can be completely obvious because a vector bundle of a, a, a thing is a vector space. And up to isomorphism, there are only one vector space. So the, the so this is first example, and so this is why a very thing is easy. I mean, at least it's easy because you have this thing of nitrogen present. On the bundle over a field only trivial. Uh, and now, obviously, you can do some of the other things you can uh, in vector bundles. Vector bundles. Plus a um, orthogonal form, you see? Orthogonal form is, uh, is just a, a, a linear map, OS linear map from V tensor V over OX into OX. Uh, uh, some V, a, a symmetry. <coughs> a 
CBC Union reform, um, which is uh, known with everywhere. No one doesn't know it. There will be fiber wires for every point of the so This is S. So for every point S, small s and S, the fiber will be in vector space. Equipped with some, some, some uh, one of the form, it means of no different form of every single fiber. And of course, we have uh, in th this object is on the form of the that forms of the trivial vector bundle OSN plus some kind of uh, you can look at the form one B with the type of magnetic for example. And the automorphism of this this kind of uh, standard orthogonal form, the automorphism of this is it just orthogonal group. Maybe uh, as a group, this is called some group still, then we just orthogonal group time S over S. So that the, uh, this category of form is the same as but the uh, so we have, uh, uh, as a result, we have the equivalence between the, the group point of vector bundle of run n over s plus uh, of a uh, uh, symmetric uh, b linear. No, no business form. Over S is it equivalent to uh, the group of the body of O and uh, time S over S. So this is a fair more usual. For example, when you have a, a Riemannian manifold, so the tangent space of the bundle and the Riemannian structures in the symmetric being in form of the open bundle. Uh, but this is the same as a uh, bundle uh, uh, under the ordinary group, so it's less usual. Uh, it's the same as locally, you choose some uh, orthogonal basis. But again, this is like a frame bundle. So this had to, had to go back and forth. So the, the point is that when you, when you do some kind of concrete mathematics, it's better to think about it. some space, some form, additional structures for the data. So when you try to um, somehow, it, so the bundle is, um, is more, um, more abstract, but also it's kind of more easy to, you know, it really depends what you do, but it's, 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 been, it's nice to, you know, to, to be trained to move back and forth into this. And of course, if, if you have S is spectrum R over real numbers, over real numbers, then there's not just one optimal form, but there's classification of optimal form, the bit, if you know, just the my signature before. And so in this case, we have the, uh, the, the quadratic forms and the R are classic in the same as uh, off the and bundle over R. And it, as a set to classify the uh, Classified by uh, symmetry of the quadratic form. So when you have optimal form, you can choose the basis, optimal basis with the uh, coefficient plus or minus one. The symmetry is 
So in this case, the, 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 this is just a set. There's no, there's no new structure on this. Okay. So the last point I want to mention is one of this was a very general story of, uh, <coughs> of uh, McDonald's is the, the one that is has to do with question of time. So why uh, in France all this is very top surf? Or in some English will be top surf. <coughs> Let me put the English to 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 choose. So um, so if you have um, now um, if you have uh, uh, x over g over s again smooth with skin. So some of you may want to remove this smoothness because you enter the group is not smooth. But if you remove smooth, you cannot even deny what you mean by, by toxin or what you mean by locally treated. It's not obvious, but it makes sense. So you're acting on excellent And if you have a principal bundles, you have to have bundles, so E is a G bundle over S. Then there's no, an operation that is used all the time, is how to okay, use this one to choose as. So any, 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 any space acted upon by G, and any bundles, then you can use the bundle to choose as. So you have the uh, top, the top S, so it's always the B drive, this is B drive to X E. The twisted space of X um, by, by G band, by the G band of B. So in fact, they say that they thought X the top The top is in a to choose. And this is defined as the scholar. So we, it, this is the operation you all the time in, in, in topology. It, it, it just look at x and s is p. The fiber of the x is p. And on this, we have option g. We have g up by diagonal. So G after X by the given action, and after E by the bundle action. So now we consider the bundle action. And we find X E as a portion. So now the sudden point is what do you mean by portion? In the, in the algebra joke, it's a kind of very complicated to find a portion. Not like the topology, but just to find a set. But here, in the portion is, I mean, sometimes this is not a scheme, but it doesn't matter much. The thing is, uh, in fact, on many aspects, it is a scheme. So the main thing is actually is that it's, 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 it's a free action. It's free action because if you consider how that would be, it's free. No matter what you do, the after is still free. So any time when you have X up by three option, you have a portion. So the principle is that when you portion the portion by by three options is always it's not a scheme but always under the space. So I don't want to define it, but it's and sometimes you can laugh to cut a little bit to, to capture all these things, but this is like this. But in many situations, it is a scheme. Uh, but you know, the thing is, when you base chain S by some S prime, this is a big bound, 
the complete path of the P flag, so that over E, the E prime is trivial, the E prime just equal to G uh, over S prime. So if E equal to G, then we are doing nothing. If E equal to G, uh, and then so X uh, time X, X prime over S prime, E prime, in the, uh, in the same as X, S prime over S prime, G, S prime. So when you divide by this, and then this is divided by G, S prime, you just let S, S prime. So when you twist by the trigger bundle, that means it doesn't do anything. So now, uh, although we won't have this course that we will but we know what is over some cover. And usually, you know, under that assumption, it can be said that the best in fact is set. From this thing to this, we have the best in fact is set. But this new assumption, for example, we see it's a five and then it's five. I mean, for a five species, but then it's not a five with the other assumption that we remember. So, the form of this a five group, I think there's no way of doing it. Okay. So we have defined these sort of bundles, defined this, uh, how to twist. Um, and somehow you can also see this. Uh, um, okay. Next is just the last, some last piece of things that you have when you have whole morphism. That H and G are groups in these homomorphisms. So group schemes. Then you can uh, um, Then you have a big bang yield role to define a, a, a function from that H and G. So if you have some H bundles, then you can associate it to some, some G bundles. You need this kind of uh, a map because EG is just an issue. Uh, H after um, when you have more than the H after G on the left. And so this E G it took a true state of, of G by E. And this is the confusion E G and G E but the So G now you forget it to group to the space. Acted on by H of the left. So when you have H bundles, you can twist into this twisting thing to get some, some new space for G E. But if you remember that this is here after the right. You can after on the left, commute after the right. So it didn't have after on the right. So this E this this E G still have after the right. And more of the way local line to G. This is a, a G bundle. Uh, and in the you know, on the color homology uh, the same, this is the good point. When you look at the map in views of the set as a morphism of classes, you have H1 and H H1. So this is the, 
this is very formal, but um, but pretty much how we, we study um, uh, this next lecture is uh, when I, when I, um, when I, uh, when I uh, talk about bundles, the additional structures, very much basically to, to, to use this kind of reduction on the H by G. The subgroup is, uh, this subgroups play big roles um, in this story. So just the uh, last piece of the uh, developing I think I've got more than I, I wanted to do, but just finish it. Um, so we have this uh, usual, uh, not uh, uh, having touch. We do some kind of developing modeling. So uh, let A, B, C uh, uh, groups. As you do over something. I should not have exact sequence. Let's not, they are community group to start with. Then we have the uh, exact sequence of, uh, they have long sequence. A cohomology. So in, in, in my lectures, we, we rarely go over H2, 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 H2
move on to, um, for example, how to define cobalt with that. From A0 of case C to A0 of K. So for every, um, if you have a point C, in this, this is the K point of, of C. So a point of this A0 is going to take point of C. So in other words, we have a map state of K into C. So if you form the position C, to the fiber of this point by this is a simple to have B of C from the state of K. And now this fibers group A, but this is not the normal group because it's a fiber some some point. But it's act, acted on by the kernel. So the kernel about C to transit to group. And the point that this B of C is an A bundle over K. So said that is important for this map that is not just a, a set of a map of set is a function. For every point you actually have an object, you do have a, a well-defined uh, bundle. So this is the uh, uh, so and uh, we have so this map on from, from A0 of K of C. You have a map like this map. And then after you can take the either more with the glass if you wish, then you can do this map. This is a good point. And this look even when 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 it's not ideal. It works uh, alone again. Very similarly, uh, and this is another thing that we have used on the time later, so that I just better explain it now. So in in this uh, in this. Uh, when they have this exact sequence, so A is a normal subgroup of B. Then they have this map of H1 of K of A of B. And so they characterize image of H1 of K A into H1 of K B as element that becomes zero in H1 of K C. So what if A is not a normal subgroup? So, uh, so now generally we have a uh, when A is just a, some, some subgroup. In five of the three. And uh, so we have this map of H1 of A over K mapping to H1 of B over K. So actually it's better than the two bundles. So we have ban A, maybe to ban B, we can have a functor of group groups. So how to characterize? How to characterize the, the image, the essential image? What are the B bundles, which is isomorphic to a bundle that comes in from A? Even when A is not a, a normal circuit. And then this kind of very old theorem of the man. Uh, 
that form there very nice with the blue. So we look at the, um, the space, now let's look at the space X to be B, uh, B not A. The portion. This is the skin of the magnetic phase, this is the skin, which is after on the B. On the left of this. So this is not a group, it's just the space, uh, the space cross sector. Mm -hmm. And so for every E, it will be a crystal bundle. Then you can do the twisting construction. Then you can do the XT. All this is on the page, this is on the spectrum. So the twist, twist the space of X by, by the G bundle. Yeah. This makes sense. So this is um, see the steam, which we can isomorphic to, to X after some theta and tabla, over a field just of some kind of uh, finite expansion. And on the next month, we have uh, um, E to E belong to the image of the, the A. If and only if there is a point to X E. K point. If you have a point, then you have a, a reduction. So this kind of reduction, the question is how we have the bundle, how the bundle can have reduction in the structures of some something. So the trick is to look at the portion of B of A and twist the portion by the B bundles. And if we have a section, and if the section to be the um, section. So how maybe I'm not really cool. This is the, the same kind of Trick that we test in fibers, like the tire to explain this. So you see when the case where um, A is A is not a subgroup, then this is a group. We want A to group. And so this is a X A of K. This X E is in uh, this is actually in matrix. This is a C bundle. X in the C bundle. And if the C bundle at least ahead of one, then you achieve the C bundle. Okay. So this is just a, a, a way to say this 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 part is the exact is the exact sequence. So this part is exists in a very non-committed case. That B is non-committed, A is non-committed, A is not even a normal circle, which is anything. But it is in this. On the you cannot define this. So the, in this case, there's no way to define this. Uh, and this is this is topics for the non linear cohomologies. Um, well, people I lecture actually try to look at these papers. Um, people try to define. Extend the exact sequence to the situation. In this situation is like A is not one of the subjects. But I think it's not wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is two papers. But as you know, I check in, there is a mistake in this paper. The director paper. Somehow they, they do some very complicated things. But the, but at the end, when you, 
uh, undoing this, they just replaced they just replaced uh, B by the normalizer A and B. It's about A is normal normalizers, and they very classic normalizer. So it's very stupid. But, uh, they look at a very complicated special construction that's basically just really the developer mode for normalizer. So it's not very interesting. Okay. Um, so this is on, uh, I had to say, you know, I think probably all you have to know about the uh, general theory of bundles and talks. Uh, so, you know, now we go back to the, um, now we go back to the uh, first problem, how to describe bundles of the curve. So somehow very description is a way to you want to describe bundle of a curve by using Galois homology by, by the H by, by H1 of the generic form for example. So we using Adam to reduce or description to the generic fiber. So we uh, come back to the describe uh, uh, again the x over uh, of smooth over the curve over thin k and uh, g over x if all it's just any uh, smooth group scheme. Will be a finite type over x. And if you want to describe it by g, we will put it a g band. Using add x. So, as I say, we have a, 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 we have a little bit of fun to start with, with a, a h1. So f is uh, f is the field of rational function, and h one of g is the mode in general. We have no if we have do have to have a rational state to make this thing like any kind of reasonable. Otherwise, it just be a kind of monster. Uh, no way. So to to have some information on this. In the case where I think of a K, uh, in two cases, if the K is algebraic close, the base field has to be close, which is a very nice case. Now, uh, a little more complex case, but still doable, the K is fine. So, so when you do this kind of very uh, counting bundle, you do need to have for any groups, you do need to rest to these two cases. Either the base field has to be close, if you do find the page to give a team for example on base, it's no more to do this. So um, first do the um, the K is eligible to close. See? Then uh, this thing is what say I call the F of K of X is one dimension. Commercial one dimensional. One dimensional. One dimensional thing. So I am not going to be scared to be called what to be by the time they go tomorrow, but they are not going to be called. It's kind of, you know, the clear. It's three dimensional for the word curve, so it's a one dimensional thing. Uh, in this case, um, uh, uh, what is, so say, basically shape the, 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 uh, the Galois homology theory by two conjectures, equal to one and equal to two of say. Uh, they are all now basically more than the, uh, the first one is, uh, that is, uh, so theorem. I think this one is the standard. I'll find it to one set. Uh, 
is uh, if G is uh, is always assume smooth, then that is a very important assumption is kind of like it. Over K, which is one dimensional over some algebra on the field. One dimension field that is two in this case. And, <coughs> and perfect. Then H1 of K G is So for example, perfect is only for characteristic B, so for when K you to C, then you need it as something of perfect. Then over the agreement surface, over uh, some field of one dimension over complex numbers, then uh, there's no gala homology or connected to. Um, but we really want to do with the finite field data or uh, FQ bar. So what is when K is FQ bar, when K is characteristic P. And this is something very annoying because, because this is not perfect. When K of X, uh, K of FQ bar. When this K of X is one dimensional, but not perfect. So perfect can be when you look at the uh, Raising to the power of p and to be a subjective. Right? This is not perfect. We have to do the uh, perfect uh, perfectization, which is not very nice. Uh, but then it can have true for the same the same point if g is inductive. So. Um, so what is wrong even the um, it's basically to work for multiplicative groups. But it's not it's not work for an unipotent group. And maybe a, a how we explain ourselves or how, how it fits. It fits badly it can be infinite uh, in uh for unipotent group. So I feel we only only interest more in the active group, but uh, but I think that it's very important to understand the really important group guys by the reduction process. Sometimes when really we do this, we have to, to reduce from the reduction to the really important group. This, this effort to understand this is the same. So at least, at least, uh, Seth, at least, um, um, Over um, when k algebraic load, so now, so now when you assume, now assume um, that g over x is our smooth group scheme, um, or x of algebra. In, over in K as a bit to go. And as soon as G of theta, G of F is inductive. At least when 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 we call this the P case. Then then you know by, by this percent standard theorem, second to one, that H1 of F and G is zero. So basically, this is the only one you need to, um, to do very powerful. So, so we have uh, now you can apply very later. So if we have vector P over X or G by one. Now, as a general point, it's 
spectrum. We have the um, spectrum F. The E of F actually has a morphic Schumann background because the Pombo, there's no, no room for a uh, Then uh, is Schumann. So then you can choose lysomorphisms C F between G F and E F respecting the actually the G on the right. So this is the generic generic generalization. So now for every point X it X. You see the, see now we come back to the solution um, thing again. So let um, E, uh, so now I have to get complete notation, let me write E bar x. So I, I want to move E over the E of x in the restriction of E to the form of this. And I want to pull this up with it through. What I know is when I rest it to the to the to the point itself, so the right in bar x is a reduction. So it's going to be e times x to the point, just a point not the form of this. And this is a gx gx torsor. And because k is a bit too close. You can choose some point here. You can, you can have the name this Y is uh, so the right is now quite a bit closer to the right point. The galapomology of the of the as it close to this office in trivial. So we have uh, this so the, the spatial fibers of this um talks of the on the central fiber so this look like this the form of this like this and we have this is the toxin this is the center and we have this one we have this this fibers and we know that there's a point in this just because we look at another big close fit and everything else works and now what you want is some, you know, some section. You want some type of slide. Like this. So we need a smooth method of that. That will be that. That means when we have a point, then it can be extended to a section. So y, e, t, x. Then we extend. Section over the form of this. So there is going to be a very equivalent in the smooth, there's because the tangent space. But here you reduce the fact that you have this uh, infinitesimal big space when you have uh, a point of a uh, over um, some opinion grid. Let me leave there on uh, if you have a point over the fins, over the residue fins, then you can leave it to a point over any any opinion grid. That is the smoothness. And here does here the, the, this thing is a um, spectrum of formal this is very much like the human of the, this uh active grid. You can leave one by one to the and, and so this means that uh, this this means that there exists an isomorphism from uh, from Gx to Gx. And so again we have this one G not consisting of E C F and on this. Cx, 
And by the same uh, formula, there is the zero right? This is the same as this zero i. <coughs> mod zero o. No, this is zero. Okay. I go to the zero. This is the same. This is zero. So we have exactly one uh, base field the algebraic growth. And yeah, we have a same of the description of, of peaceful bundles, uh, AGLN. Just to evaluate this uh, same and the two This is still the same. I wish I had a time to explain this and uh, uh, say that I uh, did not have time. So now we move on the phase that we are really interested in, that is the phase of phase. K is finite. So now we, we no longer have this. This is wrong. So we think this is wrong. Even in the, the torus, the true set torus, one dimensional torus, there are only three. So it's kind of hopeless to, uh, we look hopeless to, to do this. But not so much. First of all, there is the one case, um, very simple, uh, very kind of surprisingly simple. Is that, uh, this is second letter two. Right? You go, you go to the second, in this case, H1 of FG is in zero. If G is not only reductive, but it has to be specific So you see, if G of F is only simple. So in this case, there is still the H1 is the true. So basically, the simple connected by the exponent in that is very much a vector space. And the vector space has a true formula. It's very, it's wrong to do that. That is, kind of to remember the exponential map is uh, captured only the simple connected. Okay. Um, so in this case, you can run the same nothing, nothing changed. Uh, oh. Okay. And it's one single option. One single thing that is, you may have trouble here. Here we use that for the algebraic flow screen to make sure that these fibers had a point. And then now we have a finite field. It's not only clear this, it is a uh, point. But here we have to do another third thing. This is a land program. Land theorem says that if G is connected, and the offset land theorem is a part of 7 to 1. It's connected. Good. Over a finite field. Then this one of A is really cheaper. I find that thing also one dimensional. That's a one dimensional. One dimensional thing. So, so length of M is a part of the second picture of one. The length of M is much nicer too. It's very nice. I don't know how to do it. So, so we have uh, over here. This argument is in the works. As long as suppose G have connected fibers, and G have connected fibers, that then this H one is zero, and have a point. So the assumption now is this is what I started doing, and K is finite. 
explain uh, when g of x, x2 assumes so that g of f is simply connected. And um, all fibers. So then if I'm simply connected, all fibers are connected. Then they they uh, are the other words. We have the same result, the same process. So uh, then G is going to be to the same the same course. But this is not very satisfying because most group encounters in geometry is not simple. So we have to, to, so this is somehow okay. I mean, this usually have only finite memory, but not that the fiber that you move it. This assumption is not very serious, but this assumption is serious. So now let me do this. Now assume that we move this thing. So that assume, we move on this new assumption. This is assumption that we are running assumption of this G phase final three. G over X is smooth. Put still G of Linux fibers is reductive. So you want to avoid any potent, but we need potent. I don't understand it seems like a chaos so uh, uh, reductive. I hope you have had a chance to understand what's going on with the computer and the suspect. And all fibers are connected. So in this case, it's no longer true that this is zero. H1 and G. Not zero. When it is infinite, when it is not zero, then it is infinite. Then it is kind of unpleasant when you have to do some counting to get a finite bit. But here is where the math is very important. It, it is so the, the kind of last argument that we made today is this one. So if e over x is a g bundle. And let um, class of EF. Now EF is a crystal bundle over F. And now we should look at the it has a morphism class, is now a name of H1 and F to G. But what happens? It cannot be any element. This group is infinite. But this class can be on a very small part of it. So why is that? The, the reason is this. Then the claim is this thing is belong to the fermion of H1 of FG into the kind of direct sum. Let me wait for that one. So FX are the low point field, so the completion of F at this point. And if you have a commodity class here, if you have G top server over F, you have G top server over F. So you have this class. And I claim that uh, if you start with money over X, the class here could be lending to the trigger class locally. It cannot be anything. So the reason is this. You have the um, EX is a restricted e to the form of this. Do the same thing again. Now the form of this, you can use this argument. On the space of the fact we had a point. And by smooth that can be the point can be spread into a section. And so this is the trivial number. So this means that the restriction of the E 
question would be to the to the public service. Is that okay? So this is the this is very simple this but this important argument. Here now we use both uh, the local argument by the lifting point, by the spreading point. We the formula G is as as soon as one find the G is connected. So we we'll form on this by the spreading argument we have a section of the of the of the crystal diagram. So then the piece will have to be trivial on the common list and even more trivial on the on the function list. No, but function list is the same as this. <coughs> so we, we have this, we have the spread of E. E on the type the same, the same uh, we have resistance to the very point or resistance to the common list. But they have to rest to the same thing that they uh, rest to the boundaries. So if you rest it in this way, you then a trivial bundle. When you rest it this way, you don't have trivial bundle. So as a result, you have, you have this formula. That the class of the Zurich bundles cannot be any class in this one. That has to be a class that are locally trivial. So this is kind of good because uh, the kernel of this, um, I mean, I need for the per one of FG. So this is not an open effective. In Gala homology, they, uh, they call it look like this. This is the Sha, the Sha of Shatarevich. So they go to the group Tet Shatarevich. So now I need to model this person because I don't know how to do Sha in that Tet Shatarevich in per one. Uh, it's more easy to move the form with this curve one approach. So this is actually um, uh, okay. So this is um, so this, and now we uh, this is somehow more nicer. This, this, this texture from which is non-trivial, but it's very small. <coughs> so, anyway, this is not in the a, 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 a book, this is a set, but it's a factor that this is in this third one, this texture from the big group. Also, this is the set. The local movie in the final. And we so it 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 actually it, it looks trivial in many in many cases. So people tend to think that this guy is not very interesting group because it but it's trivial for very trivial for uh, But it's trivial for a to G, um, uh, trivial for simply connected. It's trivial for, uh, for, for, for script or less. Script or less G and it's not now. For script or less, all this would have trivial. So as a result, it's very trivial for for constant. Like if X and and uh, and S four A, for example, it's not so so trivial. The one that is more trivial is from is non is non trivial. Now the the real last thing that I uh, want to hear a little bit late. We now we come back to the counting problems. Now let G to be something simple. Let G uh, assume that the final, the really final is something simple. Then you can uh, have the list, the, you can do the counting 
the mass of the group weight of G bundles, uh, the, the sum of the isomorphism class weighted by inverse of the automorphisms. And apply this formula, you get this delta in pair one of FG, then the volume of G of A, mod G of A F, against the measure. G of G. This is always the invalid measure in this. G reductive, then the, um, there's no choice, the only one that is a very valid measure is the same. I normalize by, by uh, the volume of G of O and G of O. So this makes sense because this, this is when finite group is volume is finite. In DG ở đây, in DG ở đây nó, cái cái G là nhóm ở trên cả cái đường cong hiện tại bây giờ. No, 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 there's no more curve. You, you just have this group. Yeah. This is the G of A is, the group of G is value in A. And A is locally compact thing, and this is locally compact. This is just, Analysis, this is locally compact. Locally compact. This is not differential, this is a measure. This is not a differential. This is very, very confusing this region, sometimes differential, sometimes measure. Locally compact groups. So, so, so there's nothing to do with algebraic group anymore, right? Every time they have locally compact group, then this unit is valid measure. But, but uh, the group G has to be defined over little k or over... No, no, it can be defined over... Here G has to be defined over F. Over, the over F. So F is... F is two. So you can say it to A point. So you go back to the previous situation, yeah? Not the one that we have just given. Ừ, tức là lúc nãy Châu vừa mới nói trường hợp là G là ở trên x gì đúng không? Một cái group C ở trên x gì? Yeah, G is x mô vào x. Nhưng nói chuyện là nếu mà G mà là uh, constant thì phải vào k thì mình phải kéo 1 này nó bằng 1 không? Ok. Ừ. Bây giờ thì mình đang xét cái tình huống là G ở trên x hay G ở trên f? G ở trên x. Ờ. Bây giờ thì DG nó chỉ ứng với cả cái generic fiber của G cả. Đây là sao? DG chỉ phụ thuộc vào generic fiber của G cả. Ok, ok. Cái là cái trên 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 cái nhóm. Không phải cái này không phải là những cái bước mà nó chỉ là một cái tốc hồi. Ok, ok, ok. Chứ là nó không liên quan đến cái cái thớ close fiber đúng không? Nó chỉ liên quan đến cái... Nó liên quan đến close fiber. Ok, ok. Để nó chỗ cao thêm thì thì nó không 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 còn là một cái số. Ok. Thế vậy là cái phân đường này nó không phụ thuộc vào cái close fiber Đây thì nó đã phải Nó phụ thuộc vào cái normalization này Vì cái DDG này nó chỉ đọc 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 chỉ đọc gì Well, if I up to a constant Ok, ok Thì vì vì chia cho lúc này, ở đây thì chia cho G of O Thế nên mình phải bằng định là cái vùng nó bằng 1 Thì mình thấy mình ra đến công thức là cái vùng nó bằng 1 nếu chỉ có đúng cái này thôi. ok. đó chỉ thuộc cái scope này. tức là tức là cái lớp sơn nó vẫn tác động lên nhưng tác ở đây một cái cái điểm nữa là là thực ra là vì vì trước này bắt đầu tôi bắt đầu nói những cái cái mà tôi không chứng minh thì tôi nghĩ là khó nhưng mà những cái này cái volume này nó bằng nhau hết nó không phụ thuộc vào yếu tạo nên cái độ cốt vết thì thì những cái volume này thì nó cũng nó cái cái volume này thì cái automorphic này cái này là automorphic space thì cái volume này nó không phụ thuộc vào yếu tạo bởi vì mình rất là khó có twist này là cái volume của nó không cái twist nó không thể không làm cái volume không thể không thể thế là thì đến cái 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 cái
số vật tư của cái này lên một cái volume này volume của cái thế mà những cái trường hợp đặc biệt thú vị là cái trường hợp là cái trường hợp duy sinh từ đàn ếch Simple electric is a more quick one of the things that are the most important thing. But the volume is not easy. The volume is very difficult. It's a number of the 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 number So this is formulated this. So now we have G over over X. So the, the thing is that when when G is semi simple, then there's another measure. A chemical, a chemical measure. on G of A. If you just have a group of uh, uh, genetic, uh, genetic fibers, uh, uh, there is so many simple measures, a parallel measure of the G of A. So here there's, not, here just, there's no chemical measure, they normalize it by uh, deciding the volume of G of O is 1. And now this depends on, on the special fibers, on all those fibers. But but the, why do we for semi simple? There is chemical measure on the show stars. So this is called the Tana one measure. So for this, you have to use uh, integration, the difference in form. So, uh, um, so we have G of, um, so we have V of, of G. Is now an air vector space. And you look at the wedge, max. So this is a one dimensional vector space. And you choose a, a, a alpha, a non, a non zero, linear form. So this is just a top, top differential form. Top, this is the variety of top invariant top differential forms. On G. So then G over F. Algebraic forms. So this is this is what we find. So alpha is what we find. Up to F star. But now when you have a, a differential form that you have analytic forms on every uh what? So for every uh, So for every x, g of fx, now it is not just a set. fx is a, FX is a, a, a topological field, a locally compact topological field. This is actually a fx analytic manifold. And then you can use alpha, let the point omega. You can use omega, omega to do uh, uh, define uh, uh, a measure, divide to a measure. 
And with any function, you can multiply this differential form and integrate. And then, uh, this completely feels similar to the pay when everything is going on. will do the same. And I, I, I will go back to this construction in the last lectures of the daily integration. So now I'll just uh, skip this. And uh, so this is in the pair of this pair of the product of omega x over mountain s is independent of omega. Because when you multiply omega by a scalar in s bar, you multiply anywhere by the absolute values of, the, of, the, of that scalar. And the product formula is equal to that. So this, for this omega, is the uh, internal measure mm -hmm. on g of i. So it looks like it, it works for every group, but they only work for some simple group. Because some, you know, the, uh, there's some kind of this thing. So, you know, when I look at some kind of function, we want to like the, Basically, when you look at the, the characteristic function of G of O, this is a compact subset. And I want to compute the volume of this with respect to omega. And then, we have to, to at every place, we have to compute the infinite product of this. The volume of, uh, of G of O x with respect to omega. And this is not one. It's never one. Some numbers. And we have to make sure that we can put up two converges to positive numbers and the measure makes sense. And this converge or converge or semi simple group. For GAM, is divided to something like the beta function. And the form of the time, the same as the other time. Anyway, so now we have this, we have defined this uh, calculated measure, omega, and the uh, weight and vectors is a, that when, when G is simply connected, then the volume of G and A more G of A with respect to this time number measure is 1. So this is very famous manager of A where he managed to um, reduce when you work by uh, Zigbo and other people. Very complicated to work in number theory to one single statement that this time number number is 1 but simply connected. So um, this is um, this is proven by uh, by Lerner's, one of the first paper of Lerner's. He proved this for for split groups, for split reductive group, and then the the, the, the most different way to make so this is this this volume is dependent on particular uh, and That is called this theory. So this is uh, for number three. This is called this theory. And this is really the third, third automorphic form. Because this is automorphic portion and it's a lot of automorphic form to prove this. But in the case of function three case, you can compare this two, two statements. It's very similar. Right? You compute the volume of the same portion, two the different measures. And so the this is the the sort of this very vectors that we equivalent to the fact that by the G when simply connected by the G is the same as the volume volume of the G of O is compact but compute the term number of measure. Because the ratio had to be uh, just had to the ratio of two two measure can be evaluated by Compute some bullets. This, this is the bullet. Minus one. 
So this is equivalent combination of, of, uh, of eight hundred churches that pay function fees. And this is proven by uh, so a priori function fee had to be purely easier than hundred fees. But somehow this is not proven until recently by this is proven by uh, this really And they're very fancy way of this using uh, non-agrarian point direct world. I don't understand the, the, the proof, but I guess it can be simple. Anyway, the, um, So this model, any one of the very, very late. Sorry for having so late. I thought that we had by two, uh, two hours. But, uh, so the uh, so the uh, the next the next uh, lecture, my plan is to think uh, this cassette of countings, um, but with uh, not just G bundle, but G bundle the additional stuff. And, and traditionally, we see how, how G and subgroup H are connected to each other. And the uh, teaching five pairs are some kind of very special pairs of, uh, of G bundle and additional structures. And uh, the, the constructive can be generalized very, very, very wide at that basically any, uh, any situation. And then uh, all this is still very much on the level of Adam and other homologies. And uh, as this week, we, we had to do more under the geometries. It's no longer just a good point, it has become a mobilized very mobilized stuff, basically. But this, I think this will give you a kind of ideas of what kind of 